Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a quick tour around Gaia and see what the application is all about. So first off, I'm going to launch the application and we get a quick start screen. You can choose how you want to work. You can um, create a graph, which is the most sophisticated way to create complex terrains. You can create um, terrains also in a layers mode and you can also sculpt. So we'll cover the other workflows in separate videos, but in this one, I'm going to show you the graph. So I'm just going to create a default terrain. So as Gaia loads, you can see um, we have a basic a terrain to begin with. So this is just a simple mountain that's been eroded. Now, if you have never used uh, graph-based applications before, it's it's simple. It may seem intimidating at first, but it is not really that complex a process. So what you do is you find the nodes you want to create with here, and you put them in the graph here and connect them. So this same thing, uh, I'm going to take away this default graph. And instead, let's create um, a kind of a, a, a river valley. In uh, CG applications, like you would have primitives such as cubes and spheres, which you can then transform into other things. In Gaia, you also have primitives. And so everything you do will begin with a primitive, and then you will process it in different ways. So here you can see there are several different primitives that could help you get started. So mountain is the one we, that we just saw. Uh, another one is called slope noise. So it's similar to Perlin noise, but it's made in a way to accentuate slopes. And so I've dragged and dropped this a node and we can examine this in 3D. So this is just a simple uh, noisy slope. So I'm gonna create another slope. And you can see this has a different shape. So you can go through seeds to get different random versions of it. And I think for this we're okay with what we have. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this down. So scale it all the way down. So that gives us more um, detail on these uh, slopes. And then the next thing I want to do is change the direction a little bit. So I'm going to change the direction here to be about 66 degrees. And this one to be a bit more than that. Something like this. So this and this. Now I'm going to combine the two. So you could create a combined node like this, and then you drag from the output port into the input port, and from this to the second input. And now they're combined, but we don't want them to be combined equally. So I'll change the method to max, and the ratio to 100%. So that gives us the tallest heights from both these terrains. And so now you can see this is creating kind of a little diagonal pocket and we'll turn that into a river. And to do that, it's very simple. We just drag the erosion node and attach it to the combine node. So if you drop on it, it will attach it automatically. And there we have a basic river system going through the mountains. So the rough, slightly geometric shapes that we saw previously once they're eroded with the erosion node, we start getting really natural details everywhere. And you can uh, increase the, the depth of the erosion. So we increase the down cutting here. I'll hit apply. And there you can see it has even better grooves now. Now let's examine some of the extra data that we get alongside the erosion. So I'm going to turn on the 2D viewport. I'm going to... Uh, switch it to 3D. So you can see this is our terrain from a top view. And I'm going to right click and select the flow output. And you can see this is the extra data generated that gives us the flow. And so we could use this to create color textures and more. But for now, let's stick with just the terrain. So let's say this looks great. And this would fit in uh, many different situations, but I want it to be very specifically something that's a bit sandstony. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this aside. So first I'm going to turn off the 2D view and let's see, let's create a terrace node. So I'm going to drag it from here, attach it to combine because we want to do that before erosion. We'll come back to erosion in a bit. So first we want to create these uh, levels or stratified levels. So I'm going to lower the uniformity because we want them to be a bit uneven. Uh, 10 uh, terraces is fine for this. I'm just going to increase the steepness slightly. 
and we'll leave this as it is. Uh, I want to attach another terrace. And so for this, I'm just going to right click or I'm just going to press tab in the graph and you can see the search uh, come up. I'm going to look for another terrace and drag and drop it uh, connected to the previous terrace. And this one, we're going to have more um, finer details here. So I'm going to go for, let's just, I'm just going to right click and type in 100. So let's just have 100 terraces. And same as before, we want, uh, you know, very little uniformity. We want a bit of steepness, not too much, but a little bit. And now I will take the erosion that was attached to combine and uh, attach that to terrace. And there, now you can see we are getting a lot more stratified detail here. And it is uh, similar to what you would get with a sandstone uh, environment. I'm going to increase the preview resolution from 512 to 1K. And we get our eroded terrain in higher detail. That looks good. And now when you're ready to take it to um, any other application, all you have to do is right click the node that you want to export, mark it for export, click build, select the resolution you want to target for the final build, and the output that you want from all of these, and then just hit build. And that's how easy it is to use Gaia.